Lamest countdown ever. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Warp Up. Today we're finishing our Mass Effect 2 playthrough, and I just pounded on my desk for no fucking apparent reason. What is Good wrong, job, Ryan? Uh, Alright, today we have Adrian and George today. You know George, he's, hey. uh, he's hilarious and funny. And we have Andrew, really? you guys don't have a nickname Andrew. for Andrew. Oh god. Who's Andrew? Oh god. Adrian, I'm so sorry. I mean, I know Adrian, which is me, but you I'm know. so sorry. <laughs> I know Adrian, which is me. I know myself. <laughs> Alright, so you guys uh, remember we left off? We just got to, uh... You sure those this... armor upgrades will protect us from the Seeker Swarms? Whoa, I'm gonna turn up the quality on my hangouts here, because... I know what you want, though. Alright, there we go. Alright, we're, uh, back on Helium. It looks like you're in my backyard. That's how my backyard here in California looks like. Really? <laughs> Lack of rain and shit. Oh shit, I am not ready for this game. Too much hail. No, but, but, uh, it, fuck it, it was pouring all day yesterday. Like, it was really cold This should slow him down. It's okay, I'm gonna date this video for you guys. Um, yeah, everybody on Twitter fucking hates Twitter. Just so everybody knows. Oh, because oh, of the whole like thing? Oh my god, yeah. what's wrong with people? That was Wait, what's going on Twitter? Uh, they changed the favorite button to the like button, like instead of a star. Oh, boo. Are you mad too? You can get the fuck off this call right now. What the fuck does it matter? Why? It's I know, free. No fucking reason. It's free. Shut up. Don't complain about something. Yeah. There's, there's no difference. It's to be fair though. It's it's stupid for them to change it in the first place. No, it's not. It's completely. They, they own all rights. To it. It yeah, makes they do, sense. but like, doesn't it, mean like. All right, fucking George Lucas owned the whole rights to Star Wars, and look what happened to him. Fucking the one episodes it. one, two, and three came out. That's what happened. That doesn't make it no okay. Fucking sense whatsoever. What he said? What did he say? It fucking. <laughs> you, he no, it was the Ryan's best. like, Ryan's like, oh, dude, uh, fucking <laughs> Twitter owns it. They can change it if they want. George Lucas owned Star Wars, and look what he did with it. He episodes did what he wanted to. He owned it. Yes, exactly. Fucking episode in episode How is this an issue? Aren't the biggest shit ever. Oh I'm my god. I'm just trying to say sometimes changes shouldn't be brought on because it doesn't make sense. Oh my god. You know what I'm saying? George, I fucking hate you so much right now. You know what I'm saying? Twitter and the like button to fucking in. Star Wars? I'm already Are you kidding me? Up. Five minutes in and my face is red as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I just shed some tears, man. Oh my god. Whew. That's, that's, that's it. That's, that's the name of the episode. Twitter's the exact same thing as Star Wars. Give me like a minute. <laughs> There's nothing different. Star Wars right. and Twitter? Yep. Same fucking thing. Alright. change the subject a little. No, no, wait, hold up. I wanna go back to Shut up, dog! This should punch through their armor. <laughs> anyway. There was this like crazy ass theory on Reddit the other day that, that it was a theory that Jar Jar Binks was originally going to be re revealed as a true Dark Overlord, yeah, like right on your above Palpatine. Yeah. And and like at first you think, oh, that's the stupidest thing ever, you know, because like the first episode was oh, Jar Jar. It was he was yeah, it was clumsy as fuck. But like after yeah, reading this guy's like like. Descriptions and proofs and like the gifts and stuff that he posted. Thought the Geth got that technology. It, it was. It actually like it, it made a lot of sense. Right. Uh -huh. work for the like like there's just. How do I read this now? There's just, it's a theory. It's like he's purposely being like stupid and, uh, as fuck because sort of uh, looks human. he's hiding like his, one of the his, colonists. his you know, true motives, no, which is to destroy democracy. Giant spikes to really? turn them into husks. Isn't that what Jar Jar Binks does well, anyway? Like, uh, they put the him like hey, you the head the husks. Democracy. They were the colonists alive for something else. Collectors must be experimenting on the colonists. What are they up to? They're trying to build the ultimate sex machine. Maybe not to know the details. Guess we'll find out when we stop them. We're wasting this time colony's else. under attack, remember? Let's move out. Wait, so what mask yeah. is this? One, two, three. Second. Second. Yeah, right. the best one. But anyways... So, it is, uh... You know, there's scenes where Jar Jar Binks, like, he fucking jumps 50 feet into the air and dives into some oh, water. empty buildings. Mm -hmm. And they think, like, he has, like, sword powers and shit. And he could do like mind tricks and stuff. And it's just like gifts of him, like 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 moments where he does things like that, and it's pretty fucking like eye opening. Firing a high impact. You know how you know how in in four, five, and six, like the big plot twist, the one that went down in history, Darth Vader is Luke's father, 
Will. Wait, uh, what? Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Where? <laughs> dude, like, fucking spoilers, dude! <laughs> I, I actually have haven't what? seen them. What is wrong with me? Well, anyways, the big, the big uh, plot twist to this one was supposed to be that Jar Jar Binks is actually an evil over. That's such and, a good uh, idea, though. I mean, yeah, yeah, it would have been a lot better. Really good. The reason, like, it didn't happen, and this was another theory, is because. Uh, of all the hate that Jar Jar Binks got after uh, Phantom Menace came out, George Lucas was backed out. Like, he oh man, out. that would have been so good. That would have pissed off so many more people. And that's why, like, the episodes two and three had like a lot of plot holes and stuff. Like, uh, and that's why, like, Count, Do uh, what's his name, Count Doku, like, that's Count why he was Count like, Count. that's why he was like forced in. The guy that gets fucking beheaded by Anakin Skywalker by dual lightsaber. Yeah, right that's why he ass. felt like so forced in and like. He didn't have like a uh, background develop because they like put him in so last minute. Yeah, that's very isn't that true. The guy with, isn't that the guy with like four lightsabers? No, that's uh, no, that's General Grievous. That's General oh, Grievous. Yeah. I never understand how can someone with four fucking lightsabers lose? Uh, uh he doesn't I, have the force. Because they don't have the force. I don't know. He's, he's not that good, good. and he's a bad guy. I mean, I could go and buy four swords right now. It doesn't mean I'm gonna be a master sword. I mean, yeah, like, very you true. don't have four art, four hands, do you? You know what? He fucking watch me. I'm gonna go get the fucking. He I'm gonna go to the. Got you there. I mean, you I'm gonna don't go to the four top. arms. I'm gonna go to the top human engineer and get two top, more. Top. Okay. Call on everybody. We want the top engineer, not the bottom feeder. We want the top engineer. Top human engineer. Top human. My bad. I apologize yeah. to all the other races. Out I there. volunteer. I will be like the goddess Kali. You know, with four fucking arms. Or does four. she have six? Four fucking arms. I think she has more than that, right? She might have six. No, in, in Smite she has four. She has So Smite's well, okay? Smite. Smite, that's what we're gonna use for our reference from now on, Smite? <laughs> yeah. right, that's a, that's, that's Smite where all my knowledge... Right. That's where all my knowledge of uh, deities come from. Okay, and any I other like recent four. events we should cover? I mean... Yeah. But anyways, yeah, it was supposed to be like Yoda was was supposed to face off against Jar Jar Binks. Not oh, that would've been so dope. dope! That would've probably been oh, much Yoda better dead. than the piece of shit that came What'd out. you say? Yoda's dead now, though. Is he? Yeah. Oh, Ryan hasn't seen them. Yeah. <laughs> Spoiler. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> oh, fuck, you're Honestly, right. He does die you, in that planet you, with the fucking space shuttle, doesn't you, he? If you haven't no, seen Star Wars by now, that was it's Ben Kenobi. That was Obi-Wan Kenobi. That was Ben Kenobi. That ben got, Kenobi. I like, got, like, like, uh, got cut yeah. in half by Darth Vader, and then, like, you know, he was nothing left. Okay. Yeah. No, Yoda, Yoda, the way he dies is he fucking, like, disappears. Like he's there and he just fades away. It's pretty. It's pretty cool. Like that's how I want to go. I am the assuming thing. direct control. Nothing. Yeah, and his like guys house. was a cutscene. They probably didn't hear anything you talked about. Control. Shut up, dog! I guess I made a mistake and left my windows open. That's fucking amazing here in Wisconsin right now. Which is rare for November. It's what? It's like 70 degrees in November. That's, that's unheard of. That sounds nice. That sounds awesome. Well, the thing is, I wore a jacket to work because it was 54 degrees out. Really? So I went to work. LA, LA things like 70 degrees all winter. Slow down. No. I think it's like 60 today and I, I wore a jacket. How is that a joke? I don't get the flex line. I don't know. I don't know. Stays around if I must tell you really about Shepard, Shepard, I will. Here in the Central Valley, it gets but like... But this year, this year it might get... Firing eye impact shot! Yeah, and the nights here in the Central Valley, it gets like 20 degrees. Yeah, I mean like during the nights and something, it's like really cold. But even in the morning, it's are cold. Today is like 40, 50. Shot. Man, we're wrecking buttholes over here. Yeah, yeah last you time. are. Yeah. Ryan, the look butthole wrecker. If I die, guys, can you put that on my fucking tombstone? <laughs> Ryan, the butthole wrecker? Yes, please. I don't fucking, you guys missed it, I just fucking died. He came in like a wrecking ball. No, I saw came that. Came in like a wrecking ball. 
I'll stop. No, keep going. That was you know I don't actually ever never actually heard that whole song before. <coughs> well, RTX 2016, I'll change that for you. <laughs> Why did I say something? Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes you just better off keep your mouth shut. Oh, Who's eating yeah. candy? Popcorn, remember? Oh, yeah. I, I, I thought I had to mic muted. Do the harbor you- What difficulty are you playing for? Um, oh, no. I believe normal. Are you okay, playing so this on PC or Xbox? PC. So, um... I, when I did my uh, original Mass Effect run through, I did it on the hardest difficulty to achieve it. I have all three of them and still have to play it. Uh, I got a good I lost the shield! Too after this. I rage but, uh, quit the first one. I love this game. How did you rage quit the first one? Yeah. The first one, the second one, I'm just, I, I'm, I'll get there. Yeah. The first one's pretty good, I love the first one. You, you get special, like, bullets you can put in your gun. Pretty fucking dope. I just need patience, like, I haven't had patience to play like a couple of I think the first one story is really, really good. The first one, yeah, it's pretty good. The, the gameplay gets, like, super repetitive, though. It's like the same thing over and over again. Just go to this place. No, it's not. Yeah. You're on the first one. Yeah, on the first one is pretty damn repetitive. Well, you're killing monsters. That's all you do in all the games. That's yeah. I was gonna say it's all games, George. Yeah, you just Mass keep... Effect Two. No, but like the, the no the what? Parts are the same. No, like Mass Effect Two. Mass same... Effect Two is like, oh, go reprehend this guy, or go save these colonists, or go fucking. It's different. Yeah. Like, so is so is so is fucking Black Ops. So is Halo. You no, just go Halo is just. Okay, Halo Five was just a chase throughout the whole fucking thing from start to beginning. So don't even say that was oh. not a chase. Halo Five was not a fucking chase. Don't don't spoil that it. That was the worst story I have ever heard out of a Halo game. What's your argument against it being a chase? Because I I from what I've seen, it was just one big chase. Give Without spoiling, I'm day. hacking. Where's my hacking music? Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Got it. Okay, you're late. <laughs> But no, it wasn't. It wasn't a chase at all because they barely saw each other. Barely. Well, that's because shut up, cutscene. One, one step behind shut the up, other. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Cutscene. Company, get out here now. Should we kill this guy if I get an option? N no. Wait, you're renegade, right? Yeah, yeah I'm renegade. You human. What are you doing out here? You leave them right here! You had to hear them trying to get in. Seems like it's hard to hide from the collectors. Those things are collectors? You mean, they're real? I thought they were just made up, you know, propaganda to keep us in Alliance space. No, they got Lilith. I, I saw her go down. Sten, too. They, they got damn near everybody. I need to know what I'm up against. Tell me everything you remember. We lost our comm signals a few hours ago. I came down to check on the main grid. Then I heard screaming. I looked outside and there were swarms of bugs. Everyone they touched just froze. I, I, I sealed the doors. Damn it, it's the Alliance's fault. They stationed that Commander Alenko <laughs> here and built those defense towers. It made us a target. If you have defenses, we can use them against the Collector ship. You'd need to calibrate the targeting system first. It's never worked right. One of us should be able to figure it out. We just need the location. The and for the <laughs> main did. transmitter on the other side of the colony, pretty hard to miss. They did. They the targeting did controls are at the, the base. Biggest fuck you. You know this colony and the equipment. You better come with us. Not a chance in hell. You're a coward. You'd probably just get in the way. Damn it. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. Damn I'll it. You out, but I'm locking the door behind you. I'm not taking any up, chances. Bro. Yeah, fuck Good up. luck. I think you're gonna need it. Yeah, fuck up. Alright, oh, so what were you saying? Alright, so I was playing through Mass Effect 2, and, um, which is a lot, uh, it's not as, it's not repetitive, like, unlike the first one. And, uh, you know the mission where, actually, I don't know if you've been there before, but when you're on the collector ship for the first time? That's Mass Effect 2, by the way. Yeah, Mass Effect 2, that's what I'm talking about. I've got no shields! Ah! You know that mission, right? Yeah, I know that mission, yeah. Well, anyways, I was playing on the hardest difficulty to get all the achievements. 
And uh, I didn't realize this. This is part where where you're fighting like the Harbinger. Uh, you're fighting uh, a couple of soldiers, and you're fighting. I don't know what they're called. I forgot what they're called, but they're like the toughest enemy in the game. They take you fucking ever to kill, and they can like knock you out of your cover from like hundreds of feet away. Really? I'm God damn it! I'm gonna die again. There was a time. I spent like hours on that part alone. It's like a small little part that would norm like on normal difficulty it would take you like four or five minutes to play. I spent fucking hours, I spent days trying to get to that part. And I fucking finally rage quit. I'm like, you know what? Fuck this, I'm out, whatever. And I didn't touch the game for like like four or five months. And then I was like, hey, how come I didn't play it and I've never played this? How come I stopped playing this game? I put the game in the fucking Xbox, I loaded it up, and immediately I was like, oh yeah, I remember why. But then I felt like a little bit of confidence in me. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna sit down. I'm gonna fucking beat this shit. I can't lose to a game. What, what, what boss are you so, talking about? The Harbinger, you know, the guy that, that you destroyed earlier? The one oh, that was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, that guy. Because yeah, he, 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 all he has to do is like take over one of his guys, so you gotta kill him quick. Yeah, understood. But, anyways. Yeah, he's hard as dicks because like he shoots like fucking dark voids at you and knocks you out of cover if you're not careful. You gotta keep moving. It was annoying as fuck. And then like I looked up when I decided, hey, all right, I'm gonna sit down and beat this. I looked up like how to beat it, and then it's like, yeah, you are at the hardest point of the game. This is this point is virtually it's practically impossible without this What's perk. This? Did you not? Uh, have it? It's no, I didn't have it. It was one where where you. Uh, it was the lift one, but you get it with the DLC, and I didn't have the DLC. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, where you lift a... I think they're called, like, wust or cut husks or something. I don't know. They throw, like, shockwaves at you. Oh, really? You know what I anime I'm talking about? Like, they no throw, clue. like, sort of shockwaves at it's you? It's the funniest thing ever, trying to trying to figure out what you're trying to say. So I'm going to keep you, have you keep talking. The guys that, that shoot, like, the shockwaves. Shock I know, the one okay. the shock shockwaves. I think. No. Is that what they do? Now I don't even remember. Anyways, what you're supposed to do is you're supposed to use lift on the first one. Because, like, the way the level is set up is, like, there's these moving platforms. And if you use lift on one of them, it'll, uh, the platform will move out of out from under them and they'll instantly kill them. No, I don't, I don't remember that one. Anyways, the, the reason it's so difficult is mainly because of that enemy right there. They take for fucking ever to kill. And it really hurts your progress. But uh, yeah, I finally did it. <laughs> I was so fucking happy. Oh, that was a 50 50 chance. That I was, took that it. Was, yeah. I took it. I hate when games make you have All to. Alright, like, so here's DLC. the hard part this is the boss of level, so okay. if I don't talk, this is why. Okay, I'm all ready to go. Oh, I'll keep fucking Move. doing it. Okay. I want to Actually, you're gonna face the enemy right now. This is where you first meet him. Oh, this is what I'm talking about? Yeah, hold up, the enemy... That, there you go, silence! Yeah, those, those things. Yeah, I'm not gonna waste that on there. I'm gonna get this guy out. They take fucking every kill. It's like my teammates are fucking bullshit, too, like the AI. Borden is actually the SP, though. Oh, shit! I know what you're talking yeah, see, about now. Yeah, that shockwave shit. Oh, yeah, 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 you're it right, you're really right. really fucks you up, dude. You're and especially, right. like, shit. if you're trying to hide behind cover, and they're shooting at you from like 50 different directions. It's like it it really sucks ass. It does suck really. It sucks a lot of ass. It sucks a lot of ass. Oh. Yeah, that on legendary just it was painful. I'm just checking something real quick. No, I'm good. Ah, oh, fuck. Alright. See how this goes. By the way, I said legendary Everyone. difficulty. I don't even know if that's what it's called. Because it's called it. ready. The hardest difficulty. Taken. Yeah, husk are a little bit. Shields have failed. Man, I'm being wow. Can you put the ad agent? On what? I don't know. Uh, best. I don't know. I haven't played this, so I couldn't say anything. 
You can say whatever. You can say something about it right now. Look, I Ryan died. Like Mass Effect One, that was a piece of shit. Okay, this is a lot harder. I rage quit on that game. What difficulty you played on? Is it like? It's just like it's hard to find where you're going and stuff. Not really. On the first one. Not really. Right, Ryan. Kind of. Not eh. Really. Not really. Not really. <laughs> Do not talk <laughs> shit about my Mass Effect. Hey, what do you I have like? The first one is hard to find. I have what? Because I'm a soldier, I get all the weapons. I have. Power. Yeah, I can't do that. I gotta help. Get through my shields. Ah, uh, fuck. We're down already. Oh, it's not good. It's not good. I am running like a little bitch. Now you're One's down. Two down. That's it. By the way, this level took Master me quite a while to read as well. Um, like three more oh yeah, I thought the game played it multiplayer. Really fun. I wasn't even hitting him, I was wasting ammo, son of a bitch. Oh god, I'm so fucking dead. Oh, I think I fucked myself. Oh, I think I fucked myself. Oh, you baby, you dude, you're done. Oh! Ryan, you're dead. You're dead. Who are the creators of Mass Effect? Uh, by... Bioware. Bioware? Yeah, the publisher was EA. They also made Dragon Age Origins, which is a really good game. What came first, the chicken or the egg? Uh, the chicken. Alright, next question. No, it was really... I'm glad I have like, I have wool socks, badass wool socks. If you looked at the picture I posted earlier this morning, you would have seen them. Um, they were awesome to look like, if you were you sleep in, you know, the wool socks. Dude, I sweat in my sleep, so I don't wear anything. I usually do too, but it gets really cool. Like, especially in my room, where the ventilation sucks ass. No, I didn't. But, um. You know, I wasn't gonna get naked out of my friend's house. Yeah, I was I gonna get naked in an RV, dude. There's nothing wrong with that. No, but, anyways. So, yeah, I went over to my friend's house, chilling, and yeah, I was planning on spending the night. He's like, oh, that's cool. And, uh, I look. And I'm like, oh, yeah, it's good that you have two beds, anyways. One for the one for you. I wouldn't mind. And, uh. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, then like, like, an uh, hour or two after we were uh, chilling, he's There's like, oh hey, um, uh, I'm gonna make up a name, uh, Charles is coming over. I'm like, okay. And then I look, and I see, wait, Charles is coming over. It is almost 1am, and there are two beds. God fucking damn it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, this is the end of the episode, guys. Thank you for watching. Um... If you haven't subscribed yet, please cut me subscribe. off. I'm even double story. Fuck yeah! Um, tune in next week for the rest of George's story. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Bye.